amazing seeds. <laughs> Thank you for joining Amazing Series. I am your host Ama and today I am just thrilled. If you look by my side, you know why? Because I'm joined by Africa and the world's own music legend, Hugh Masekela. Uncle Hugh, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Uncle Hugh, I saw your fantastic play yesterday, uh, Migration. Songs of Migration. Songs of Migration. And you touched my heart and moved my spirit. What inspired you to put this together? Songs of Migration. South Africa is a migratory uh, 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 society, historically. So a lot, and because like, uh, uh, they're also very musically minded, all kinds of songs have emerged over the centuries from our migration and we left a lot of like songs before uh, 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 the 20th or the 19th century but uh, 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 it's just that a wealth that is like bottomless and uh, James Noble who's the director and, uh, and writer of songs of migration uh, put it together with choreographer Greg Magoma uh, we just wanted to, to, to paint a small picture of the wealth that lies in our heritage. Our real future is in our past, but if we don't get into heritage restoration, I think that your children, when they ask them 20 years from now who they are, they'll probably say, they say we used to be Africans yes, long ago. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, my inspiration uh, uh, can't actually, I don't think it can be called an inspiration. I think it's a defense mechanism. Uncle Hugh, before anybody knew you as a music superstar, you were a young boy in apartheid South Africa. Did you ever dream that today you would be in like theaters across the world and even in your own hometown with blacks, whites, Indians, colored people all in the same room enjoying your music? Did you ever think that they would come? Uh, when I grew up, I was crazy about records. This way it started, but I was also crazy about like the different ethnic groups on Sundays that used to do their pageantry. Everybody had a gramophone. So uh, I've always just uh, uh, been like a, uh, in, in, in music and other f and, and, and films and entertainment. I've always been like a pig in dirty mud, and. Um, uh, in it, that I, I haven't had any dreams except um, uh, to uh, to enjoy, to be part of like um, uh, the entertainment community, and to be able through uh, um, the arts to bring to to, to help, uh, um, especially Africans, uh, uh, think about a renaissance and a revival of our our heritage. Do you think we're losing our heritage? Because it feels like everything is being so westernized and we're so enamored by everything that is foreign and you know Americanized and Europeanized. Are we losing our heritage? Do you feel that? No, I think that we've been manipulated uh, uh, over the years. But I think that with the knowledge we have now, we have to, if anything else, uh, uh, we have to regenerate and, and restore uh, the wealth of our heritage without losing uh, listen, I'm, I'm an, uh, I am a, 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 a universal being, you know, I've lived all over the world and absorbed all that I could use from all over. So I don't, I'm not against people absorbing other things, but if they absorb other cultures at the expense of their own culture, then uh, um, uh, we're being led to uh, one day being a hybrid people. We had an interesting, interesting conversation yesterday. Tell me, why do you want or maybe you can phrase this better for me. You do not like women with fake extensions and the works. Why do you want the African woman without all the... I don't give, a, sh I don't give a shit what they do. As long as they don't come around me with it because I'm allergic to it. That's okay. all. You know, I'm allergic, to, I'm, allergic to, to, I'm allergic to synthetics and I'm allergic to... I'm very allergic to chemicals. But when I see uh, um, any uh, society struggle to imitate uh, other cultures, yes. it breaks my heart. Whether okay, to wrap this up, you've done everything. You've been nominated for a Tony. You've written over 25. You have over 25 albums out. What 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 is next for you? Are you? Why don't you? Because yesterday, see, I'll tell you this. I saw him dancing. You came out and you were moving 
I didn't think you could move like that. That's the first time I've seen you in concert. Oh, you yeah. move like you don't have bones well, in your that's, body. That's the musical. That's because I do Tai Chi. You've heard of Tai Chi? I have heard of Tai Chi, yeah. but I've seen the people who do Tai Chi and I've seen you dance. And well, yesterday, those are very strong people. No, but people yesterday, like you move and you... I, I, the things you do, some of the people on stage will not be able to do. So tell me, why don't you just relax and just enjoy the sunset? Why are you still active in, in the arts and in music? Why? Well, what is there to be gained in relaxation? <laughs> True. Uh -huh. Peace of mind. No and stress. then what do you do with peace of mind? Sleep. You, huh? Sleep. And then what the fuck do you do with sleep? <laughs> I mean, the, you're talking about vegetating, right? <laughs> Uncle Hugh, thank you so much for joining us. Um, you have touched so many people with your music. It's Yesterday, not my music. With, with your music, even though you won't claim it, I, I will impose it on you, your music. And yesterday you touched me greatly. And the part that I love the most about you is you use your music to, to change lives and also to change the political environment that you're in. So on the behalf of everybody around the world, including myself, who are great fans of yours, thank you for all that you've done for us. You're welcome, but just promise me one thing. Yes. Don't pass out when you get my bill. <laughs> Keller. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, lose okay. that hair. That's my own hair. Yeah, but lose the chemicals. Or <laughs> Take care. Bye.